Greetings YouTube. Today I'm going to talk about the latest non-fiction book I have just finished reading, Death's Acre. Uh, the full title is Inside the Legendary Forensic Lab with uh, the Body Farm Where the Dead Do Tell Tales, um, written by Dr. Bill Bass and John Jefferson with a foreword by Patricia Cornwell. Now I had never heard of Patricia Cornwell uh, until I read this book. Apparently she is a murder mystery writer. Um, even when I read fiction, I did not read that genre, so I would never have any idea who this woman is. Um, but I guess she's pretty well known. She's written some really phenomenally popular books, and one of them deals with the body farm. So she was asked to do the, uh, uh, the forward. And uh, uh, as forwards go, it was quite serviceable. Now, Dr. Bill Bass is the man, right there. He is the man that actually came up with the idea for the body farm designed it, implemented it, and has supported it since its uh, creation. Uh, I think in the, I think it was originally in 1982 when it first started, and now it's, you know, a fully functional part of the uh, forensic anthropology uh, community. In fact, there is now a forensic anthropology, anthropology community. There wasn't such a thing when he started out, really. Um, but he began his career as a, an anthropologist doing traditional digs, uh, collecting... Uh, artifacts, and unfortunately collecting a whole lot of Native American bones. Um, he was in fact uh, personally vilified by the Native American community with justification for having harvest harvested hundreds and hundreds of skeletons from their graves. Um, and uh, they pretty much hated him. But when he was doing this back in the 60s, uh, 50s and 60s, this is what was done. I can't justify it. It was wrong. Um, but it was the contemporary means of gaining knowledge, and uh, they have been they have re been repatriated. All the skeletons have been returned, so that's a good thing at least. Um, but because of that work, it gave him a really useful insight into helping the police and searchers and whatnot to find bodies, to discover why they died, um, and to identify people. And that eventually rolled into the whole science of forensic anthropology and became the body farm. Now, this book is chock full of useful and interesting information. If you're interested in murder mysteries on TV, in movies, in books, um, you find those true crime television shows interesting. I used to eat those things up when I had cable television. Um, this book is going to be interesting to you. You're going to enjoy what it brings to the table. Um, it really lets you see an inside, you know, glimpse of the world that is populated by real life uh, crime scene investigators and not the ones you see on CSI. Um, it's a lot less glamorous, a lot more stinking to filthy, disgusting, rotting corpses, um, which they have to deflend so that they can get to the bones. Um, but it is, I think, more interesting than those shows because there is um, real data in here. Now, Dr. Bill Blass, Bass is not a writer, which is why he hired John Jefferson to help him. Um, he's a scientist, that's what he does for a living. And anyway, if he's going to write, he's going to be writing dissertations that are probably going to bore people to tears. Um, though I guess he enjoys doing personal, you know, uh, presentations at, uh, you know, events and conferences and such. Um, and apparently, John Jefferson, or rather, sorry, yeah, John Jefferson is a journalist, and I've never read anything that Mr. Jefferson has done, so I have no idea what kind of style he writes when it comes to doing contemporary journalism. But I had a problem with the way he wrote this book, because it came across to me a lot of the time is that he didn't want to be writing a factual book about forensic anthropology. He wanted to be writing a novel. He wanted to be Dashiell Hammett. He wanted a thrilling crime adventure. And I thought it was the completely wrong tone for this book. It would, could have been appropriate to many other types of books. But this one I felt needed a more serious clinical tone than it received. And it, I found it jarring and it took me out of the experience of reading about this really interesting science. Um, the other problem I had is Dr. Bill Bass, um, his politics. He is a person that endorses the death penalty. 
Um, there is one case in here he talks about it, the testimony of two prisoners who had heard someone confess to them was thrown out of court because it was revealed that the two prisoners um, were homosexual. And that's it. There is no additional comment. That ends the paragraph. The testimony was thrown out because it was revealed the two prisoners were homosexual. Next paragraph. Continue. I'm like, you just can't drop that. How the heck can you justify throwing out testimony on a case including a man who confessed to raping a two-and-a-half-year-old and murdering her because the two people in question are gay? Sorry. That bugged me a lot that they didn't elaborate on this. The author didn't do anything with it, and obviously the man in charge of the, of, the, of the story didn't tell the author to do anything with it, and that bothered me. Um, so yeah, I, I had a, a problem with some of his politics, and again, that took me out of the story. I didn't need his politics. They shouldn't have been in here. This should have been a story of what he did as a scientist. So, lots of good information, enjoyable to know what I now know from this book. I'll be passing this book on. Um, I will not be keeping it. I just wish that the method of transferring that information to me had been more appropriate to the topic at hand. Um, a little less sensational uh, with less politics. Um, so I can't give it a thumbs up. I can't give it a thumbs down. This is definitely, you know, not bad. I recommend it for the data. But I didn't like the way it was written.